Hello, my name's Dr. Mark McInerney. I'm a Foundation Year 2 doctor currently working in the northwest of England. I'm going to speak to you for a moment about my experiences of starting working in a foundation programme and some of the challenges that I faced and how I've overcome these. This is the biggest transition that you're going to do during your career. Moving from university into a workplace brings with it a whole new level of expectation, rules, terms of your employment, and a whole different way actually of controlling your day and going about all these different activities. No longer can you make your own decisions about what you do on different days, you'll be on a rotor, you'll be working with people that you've never met before and frequently you will change in different teams and that can be quite challenging. It's a very exciting time in your career but there are some very simple things that you could do that had I known when I started the foundation programme would have helped me a lot. One of the main challenges I found to transition into working as a foundation doctor was working night shifts. This wasn't something that I had experienced before and I struggled at first to get a good routine with how I was going to control with changes to my sleep pattern, when I was going to have meals and what I did to communicate with friends and family during those times. So you will have your own system but for me, I found that when I returned from a night shift, I would go straight to bed. Some of my colleagues would go to a gym. Other people would eat. You'll have your own system. What was important on night shift was to always actually have some food with you. Often you'll find there's nowhere to purchase food overnight in many of the places you'll be working. So having some food with you can really uh, improve your experience of the shift. Furthermore, it is important to take a break. The night shift can be very busy, it can be quite lonely and so when you're taking a break seek out a couple of nursing or doctor colleagues that you can sit and have a 10 minute relaxing period with and gather your thoughts. That's just night shifts. They're exciting but they can be a big challenge for you and you're likely to have not experienced these before. In terms of my working day there were a load of challenges regarding how I organise my work how I accessed help, how you escalate problems, and really just how you approach lots of the common problems that patients present you with. You will find that you're gonna work in very professional and dynamic teams, and there'll always be somebody who actually can answer your question. I often found the reason why I didn't get help was I, I didn't know who to ask the question to. So in your team, find someone that you think is reliable and you can speak to about any problems. Always try to have a review of your work during the middle of the day. I often found the morning and the afternoon periods in the hospital were very different and at the end of a morning ward round it was important to have 20 minutes where you sat down and organised the work for the rest of the day. I found that doing that helped you to gather your thoughts and allowed you to plan your time properly. By doing that, I finished work regularly on time. Some of my colleagues had different systems that also were effective. The most important thing to say is that you will enjoy this job if you engage with the processes at your hospital. It's a great time in your career. It's going to be very exciting, but it's not going to be easy. Medicine is a really challenging career, but at every stage of your training and in all of these transitions, be that between different departments or different grades of training, there is a lot of support and there are many people that have been through the exact same process that you've been through. So just make sure you speak to people and get help when you need to.